Hey guys, in this video we are going to install the replacement door skin on the driver's side door for this 1971 Camaro that you see behind me. Stay tuned. What is up guys, my name is Dan and you're watching Resto Car, your source for DIY content to help you finish those builds. If you've been following along, you'll know that in the last few videos we repaired some rust on the door shell, we've epoxy primed the door shell, and we've put uh, sound deadener on the replacement door skin. So at this point, we're ready to install the door skin onto the door shell. All right guys, before we go ahead and get started, let's just take a look at some of the tools and products that we're gonna be using today. I'm going to be installing this door skin using the 3M panel bond adhesive. The one on the right is the one that we'll be using today and the product on the left is dampening material to put between the door skin and the, the uh, support, the door shell to prevent like vibrations and things like that. With these products here, you need a special gun to apply them. I'll have links in the descriptions for all this stuff. And as far as the mirror support bracket, there's some weld through primer here that we're gonna use. Uh, we'll drill some holes in the door skin and plug weld the bracket to the door skin. And then of course, you need hammers and dollies and clamps for the door skin while you're uh, hammering down the fold. I have a piece of a Bondo spreader here that's cut just to spread out the panel bond adhesive so I can thoroughly cover the, cover the metal. This particular dolly is a rubber dolly. It does a little bit less damage on the door skin. We have a die grinder with a conditioning disc on it to clean up the flange before we apply the adhesive. And safety stuff, we got the uh, ear protection and safety glasses. And I got my door bolts here because I'm going to install the door as soon as I'm done to make sure that it doesn't need adjusted or twisted around before the panel adhesive cures. This red scotch bright is for scuffing the door skin in the fold area so that the adhesive has something to bite into. The 3M panel adhesive directions require the flange to be stripped to bare metal and the door skin can stay in primer, it just needs scuffed up. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's get to it. Now we're going to go ahead and scuff the edges around the door one more time with a red scotch bright pad and we're going to clean out the wax and grease remover and at that point in time we're ready to put the door skin on the door shell so let's get moving. Alright guys, we're ready to put the door skin on the door shell. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go around the flanges on the shell and put a bead of 3M's panel bond adhesive. And then we're going to smooth that out and cover all the bare metal. And then we'll put another bead on top of that. And then finally we'll set the door skin on top of the door shell and clamp it down and begin folding over the edge. Another thing I'm going to do is put some uh, 3M's NVH material down where there used to be globs of seam sealer to prevent the door skin from flapping around or vibrating, anything like that. So you'll see that across the uh, up above from the crash bar. And we have about an hour's work time with that. <clears throat> and we have an hour and a half of work time with the panel bond adhesive. All right guys, so the first thing we want to do is test fit the panel. I've done this a few times already, but we'll do it one more time before we glue it down, just make sure everything looks good. So uh, basically, you just take your panel, flip it up, set it on the door shell, and make sure everything looks good. All right, so what we're looking for here is to make sure that this body line 
lines up exactly with the crease in the door and it does so that part looks good and we want to make sure the same on this side it's pretty good and then of course this style line here we want to make sure that the panel follows this so you can you can see here that the style line in the shell matches up with the panel here the other thing is I installed the door latch earlier because we are going to install the door as soon as we can as soon as we get the flange folded over let's take a look now on this door skin I'm not exactly sure this is common on these skins I'm assuming it is but basically I'm gonna need to clamp this part down Overall, I don't think it'll matter. I could probably do this after the fact, but I really want to get that sound dampening material in there. So the only issue with clamping this is that while I'm ham hammering on the folds, my clamps will probably fall off just because of the angle of this. And I don't want to tack it until it's on the car. And then the other, the other thing you want to look for here is like where these, right here where these tabs are. Just make sure that when the panel comes together that the distance from the top of the panel to the tabs is similar to what it was. I mean, you can check your passenger door or take measurements ahead of time. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with the panel bonding adhesive and this requires a special gun. So here is a off-brand gun that I got on Amazon link will be in the description there's also a 3M gun which costs twice as much but basically so you can see these come with different size plungers and it comes with sort of different rings that you can attach on there to make them water so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you find the size that fits as close as you can in these all right so the other thing is once you put your nozzle on here you want to dispense the product until you're sure it's mixed let's put the nozzle on We're going to go ahead and dispense enough until it's mixed. All right, so we'll go ahead and put a bead on the door. All right, so I'm going to take a spreader and just cover all of the bare metal. So now the instructions say to stay a quarter inch from the inside and go around with another bead and then we're ready to throw the skin on top. All right, so bead staying closer to the inside of the shell. This way it'll create a nice seal. All right guys, now I got the gun loaded with the NVH dampening material. So we'll put a couple blobs of uh, stuff on the door. This is where the uh, seam sealer was on the door originally. All right guys, now we're gonna go ahead and drop the skin on the door shell. Now make sure that you have a plan that you, uh, you know how to set it in and drop it down so you're not moving around and making a mess with the adhesive. For me, we we'll start at the bottom, line it up, and just drop it down. We go around 
paint sticks and clamps now, vice grips, and clamp down the corners. And you don't need to go tight with these. Alright guys, so it's clamped down and now I'm just going to work around pounding down the folds with a hammer and a rubber dolly and then once I get them pretty close, pretty much folded over, I'll flip the door and finish it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start and just work my way around, hammering this in about a sixteenth or an eighth inch at a time, the whole way around, just back and forth, back and forth until we have it almost folded over. switch over to the door skinning hammer. You saw I flip the door over. It's a little easier to get to now and uh, finish it off this way. Keep an eye on your door if you're on a stand like this because you don't want it to fall off the stand so make sure it's always make sure it's always where you have it. skin on the door so now it's time to put it on the car and just see how well it lines up with everything so 
Um, we still have about half an hour to tweak the door if we need to and then clamp it down and let it dry. All right, guys, pretty happy with that. So the body lines are super close. So we'll be good there. The door's not perfectly adjusted, but as far as gaps and things, you know, being the same. So we're, so we're down here and we're down about the same amount up here. This is a little high in here, but I don't know what we'll do about that. We might just... As far as the adhesive and letting it dry and everything, I think this is the best... I think this is as good as we're going to get, so... Alright, so this is ready to be tack welded up here. So now I'm going to go ahead and grind off some paint where the tack welds need to go across the top of the door and then we're going to get this tacked and we can get these clamps out of the way. guys so we're good she's on tack welded you can see where those came through at the top here um, you know one thing I would definitely say is make sure you check out these panels before you put them on one thing I missed is a dent right in here where the handle is Kind of annoying, but I didn't really look it over too much. I'll show you what. Here's this is actually this is actually my second door skin. Let me show you the first one. That's how the first door skin showed up, right there. Man, I don't know. Maybe I could have used it. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> I mean, edges rolled over, smashed. I mean, the box, as soon as I got out of the car and saw the box, I started taking pictures because I knew it was going to be bad. However, this one's nice right here. All right guys, we got the door skin on. It feels great to get that out of the way. So it wasn't too bad. It was the first time I've ever used adhesive to put a panel on like that. 
and the adhesive, uh, no issues there. So just followed the instructions and it turned out awesome. So uh, I really like the fact that when I look down in the door shell now, you can see just a nice coat of sealer where that stuff's squeezed out. Um, it's going to definitely keep it watertight and, and the, this, the uh, adhesive has uh, like corrosion protection and stuff in it too, so we shouldn't have any issues with that door. If there's anything you would have done differently, put it down in the comments below. Uh, if you want to share your thoughts or whatever on the video or you got any questions, put those down in the comments below as well. If you like this content, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you do subscribe so you can get alerts whenever we post new videos. Also hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. We'll see you in the next one.